I'm the Fly Raid Master, and today we're talking about, well, hypocrites. Hypocrites, there's a lot of them in this industry, especially on social media, and I kind of get sick of it. Before you start commenting your least favorite YouTubers or TikTokers or whatever, really, I'm not talking about them. I'm talking about other types of influencers. Vocal people in this industry on various platforms that are extremely hypocritical. They might be a shop owner, mostly shop owners. And the st Monday's video kind of really brings that up. The shop owner I'm talking about has said multiple times he will always advocate for a technician unless it hurts his pocketbook. That's kind of hypocritical. When he literally can do something about a situation for a technician and it's more important that his shop makes more money. And if you didn't watch Monday's video, technician was considering quitting. It wasn't about money. It was about workload. The technician's burning out. Per the comment by the shop owner, it's workload. Kind of translates to, well, he's overloaded. He's killing himself trying to keep up in the shop. Burnout. Shop owner says it's not about money, it's about workload. Okay, that's a problem that can be solved. Nope, not going to solve it. He's going to replace him. He's got interviews lined up. He's more concerned about the output of a technician rather than keeping a good technician. The shop owner said he'd rather keep that technician. But I see it in other ways, too, not just that story. And I mentioned this a while ago in my undercover video, but I've seen it so many times and it makes me sick. Pillars of the industry that are complete D-bags, if you don't agree with them. Complete D-bags. On social media. If you look in some of my more um, colorful videos after I got fired, you'll see some of them in the comments. And if you disagree with them, you're called names and not just to me, other people. And they're revered by other people. These, these you know, well-known names are revered. And no, I'm not going to name them because I don't need 50 million shop owners coming after me in various ways because I, you know, I mentioned him negatively because I have been. Not even making that up. People, he's, he's literally called people stupid, idiotic, almost to the point of, you know, <laughs> um, you know, horrible things. And when people call him out on it, he is defended. So I, I don't want to go there. I go back to ethics. Ethics is, is a very near and dear thing to me. You know, you have to have ethics in this industry and it's shown how few people actually have ethics. I'm not taking credit for this, but ethics is doing the right thing even when you won't get caught doing the wrong thing. And you can tell some of these people would definitely be doing the wrong thing if they weren't going to get caught. But anyway, getting back to the topic, the hypocrisy. You know, you'll have one guy, you literally have a shop owner talk about how he wants to raise the industry and fix all these problems. And then you see him in another post and all he cares about is shop owners making more money. Doesn't care about the technician. Shop owners that put out that they care about, you know, the, their technicians. And when you actually talk to their technicians, you find out they really don't. You know, I've had that situation. I have a presence on social media. I get people reaching out to me. To give an example, and this is this story is from several years ago, might have changed. But he is a trainer, shop owner, etc. And prominently pays hourly. Not picking on hourly, but I knew a guy that literally went to work for him. He paid peanuts 
in California. Like my old boss paid more for a low B tech than he was getting paid as an A tech using factory scan tools and scopes. Not even lying about that. Now, again, this was several years ago, but it just shows that just because they talk about being, you know, a pillar of the industry in a online format doesn't mean they might be not in real life. So it's really important if you're a technician and you're applying to a shop that the shop owner is prominent in groups you're in, take what they say with a grain of salt or look around for their other social media platforms and see what they really say. Because I've seen very different sides to people and it's, it's really sad. This kind of stuff really annoys me. So hope you enjoyed this video. As always, thanks for watching. I am the Flatrate Master.